certainly one of the busiest people anywhere right now in our community has to be our township clerk, Debbie Binder, but she was kind enough to take a minute or two to join us here on the Splash Live. Ms. Binder, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, Dave. Always good to see you. Good to see you, even if it's virtual. Thank you very much for joining us. So uh, we see reports and hear reports from around the country that the turnout with the pre with the absentee votes and the people that are voting before Election Day seems to be pretty big. It, for us, it's been a little bit slower coming in, but it's starting to pick up rapidly. So we do have quite a few AV absentee ballots out. We're waiting for them to come in. Right now, if you look at what is in, we have about a 20% turnout for this election. We anticipate having close to a 70% turnout for this election. So there are many um, additional absentee ballots forthcoming. We are still getting people at the window requesting them. People can request their absentee ballot up to 4 p.m. The, the Monday before the election. And that is a hard stop at 4 p.m. that Monday before the election. You know, I was... Yeah. I was wondering about that because if you know if you've been sitting on the sidelines and you weren't really thinking about it and who can blame anybody it's a very busy time for all of us and and you you want to ab absentee vote um, and you haven't thought about it you, it's still okay you're still within the time window to stop down and get a ballot you are just fine like I said until 4 p.m. hard stop and the Monday before the election November 7th but we are open, it's good to know, we are open on Saturday, November 5th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So people can stop by and get an absentee ballot on that Saturday. And we do have extended hours, I believe it's this Thursday until 7 p.m. as well. We're trying to make it as easy for people who do have busy schedules, including us, to be able to get in here and request an absentee ballot if that's the way that they choose to vote. All right, well, more people seem to be voting that way. Uh, West Memphis Township Clerk Debbie Binder joining us this morning. So you could theoretically come down, get your absentee ballot, maybe sit down at a table, fill it out, and then just leave it right there. Is that okay, or do you really want people to take it home, fill it out, and then bring it back? No, they're welcome to do whatever they wish. We have voting booths available. We have League of Women Voters guides if they're interested in that. And they're welcome to come in, sit down at one of the voting booths, and vote their ballot here, turn it in, or take it with them. One ch the important note is that Monday before the election at November 7th, if they do request an absentee ballot, they do have to vote it here at Town Hall. They cannot take it with them. Um, one important thing, Dave, we are really encouraging people to return those absentee ballots directly to Town Hall or to the Dropbox where feasible. That Dropbox is checked daily, including weekends and multiple times a day in most cases. But the mail has been wonky, and we're really encouraging people who have the option to bring it back to Town Hall. Yeah, no, I appreciate you saying that. To say the mail is wonky, uh, with all due respect to my friends at the USPS, is an understatement. It's just been running slow, um, like everything else has, and, and just the sign of the time. So, no, I think it's a really good idea, because if the mail gets to you, what's a deadline for that, that mail um, hitting your desk and, and, the, and the postage stamp needs to have on it? It has to be received in the clerk's office by 8 p.m. on Election Eve. That is the deadline. So if your ballot is not here by 8 p.m. Now, we do have a drop box that's open. And if somebody is in line at 8 p.m. to place that ballot in the drop box, that ballot will count. And we will have people out there handing the last person in line at 8 p.m. an application or a piece of paper so we know they were here at 8 p.m. And if they have that piece of paper, they will get to place their ballot in the drop box as long as they were in line by 8 p.m. All right. So let's talk about exactly where that drop box is and and it's got to be, I haven't used it, but I assume it's, it's at the, uh, it's at the uh, township complex. So we actually have two. There's one on the okay. west side of the building and one on the east side of the building. We are encouraging people to use the one on the west side of the building between the town hall and the library just because it's a larger drop box. That's the only reason. If you do place your ballot in the one on the east side of the building, we will get that as well. You'll see plenty of signs trying to rehabituate voters to bring it to the west side. <laughs> But don't worry if you put it in the in the east side drop box. It will get to the clerk's office, and it will be checked also at 8 p.m. on election evening. So you mentioned earlier 70% likely voter turnout for this midterm. It sounds like a big number for a midterm election. West Bloomfield has engaged voters in high voter turnout. We always have had that, that kind of response. In November of 2018, we saw a 66% turnout, and our typical presidential turnout is 75%. In November of 20, we saw a 79% turnout within the township. So I do anticipate that based on that 66% in November of 18, 
that also brought proposal three of 2018 that gave people the right to vote by absentee ballot. I anticipate we're going to see a higher than that turnout for this election. That's why I'm predicting between 68 and 73 percent turnout we'll see for this one. You, that's a pretty narrow window. You've got your numbers down and you really understand this uh, this process. Debbie Binder, West Bloomfield Township Clerk. So let's um, let's talk about people that want to vote on Election Day. With all these people voting absentee, will that shorten the lines if I decide to go to my local polling place? I think the lines are going to be, I think we will have a lot of people voting in the precinct. I think when we look at that, I'm anticipating between 700 and 1,100 people in each precinct. So what I would say to people is bring your patience. You know, I would say go early, but everybody goes early. So that right. might be not the time to go. You know, you may have your the least lines if you go around 10 or 11 in the morning or later in the afternoon. That may be your quieter time to vote where that lunch period and after work and before work are definitely going to be busy. I do think even if we see those absentee ballots come in, we're looking at a large turnout in the polls as well. So let's talk about the process a little bit. It's so good that we have you here because we can understand how it works. Certainly there's been a lot of curiosity in our country about when the absentee ballots are counted. How does it work in West Bloomfield? About how long does it take you to get those counted and when do you count them? Okay, so the difference between absentee voting and early voting is that those absentee ballots are not counted until election day. So they are not opened until 7 a.m. unless you're one of the communities participating in pre-processing that will now have the two days before to open the ballots and confirm that the stub number matches the stub number outside. The ballots themselves are not pulled out of the secrecy sleeve and they are not tabulated until election day. Now, West Bloomfield is going to be partnering with Oakland County to conduct our absent voter counting board, which is a, an opportunity that was provided by Proposal 3 of 2018. The concept is not new. 42 out of 50 states uh, process their ballots at the county level. We are what's called a decentralized state, of which there are eight, like Michigan, who process their ballots at the, about run an election, actually administer an election with the local units. So it's a different scenario, but the majority of the states do run them at the county level. So the other thing that's very typical in most of our communities that don't convene their own absent voter county board is those ballots that come in on what the absentee ballots that come in will be processed in the precincts on election day. So all of our ballots that come in before 4 p.m. the Monday before the election will be processed in it with the absent voter county board that is a West Bloomfield County board out at Oakland County at Oakland County Community College Highland Lakes. And we will be, our, our ballots will be picked up by a deputized facilities person from Oakland County, followed by a sheriff's deputy. And the sheriff's deputy will be on site at the counting location that night, overnight, till the ballots, be, the counting begins what? Tuesday morning. What great information. I, you know, we like to know the details because it reassures us that this process is as, as trust, uh, trustworthy as it actually can be. And I know it is, but we, you know, we, we, people, they don't know the details and then they really wonder, well, how's it all going to work? And there are a lot of states, Michigan, not one of them, where they wait until the, all the, the, the polls have closed to count all of their absentee and pre-voting ballots and it seems like it takes can take days that's not the case here in in west bloomfield and in oakland county and at michigan for the most part right this, this arrangement with oakland county will make sure that we get those ballots even you know quick, the, the results i should say the results even quicker yes we do begin counting on at 7 a.m on election day our absentees but the county, because they're not in taking absentee ballots on election day, they're able to begin processing first thing in the morning. And last in August, they were complete by 8 p.m. And in our precincts, well, once we get those numbers from the precincts, we should be ready to go. Um, this will allow us, because we are still in taking ballots on election day, but hopefully we are in taking fewer. That's why we're trying to get that word out to get your absentee ballot returned quicker. Every ballot that comes in, every absentee ballot has a process it goes through when it arrives at the town, at the clerk's office. It gets scanned into the qualified voter file, verified against the application and the signature verified. So it's a time, you know, time taking process. In one of the, in August of 20, we received 3,500 ballots on election day. It was an onerous task to get that completed. In November, with messaging, with all of your help and with the help of the Beacon, we were able to get that down to 1,500 that arrived on Election Day. All right. So all so, of those steps will help expedite the process. 
Well, kind of you to extend your thanks. Um, we owe it to the people of our community who are responsible. And, you know, get out and take care of it as soon as you can. Why not make Debbie Binder's job easier? Debbie, thank you very much for your time today. We'll keep in touch. By the way, all the election results, will have a link to them, but the county really does an amazing job getting those results up and, and publishing them community by community. So we'll check in um, and send people off to the website. I got five seconds. Anything else you want to add? Don't delay, return that absentee ballot today.